This is City for All and in this video we're gonna talk about the influence of history and nature on our city's appearance. Once upon a time I've got an idea that seems quite obvious, but on the other hand, upon deeper analysis may turn out to a complete crock. The idea is that people, consciously or not, are trying to recreate in their modern cities the environment they are used to living in since the days of tribalism. Those who are used to living in the forests still plant many trees in cities. And those who have long lived in the steppes or deserts are not afraid to bake in the sun. Let's take, for example, modern Germans, whose ancestors lived in the middle of forests during the Roman Empire. Accordingly, in modern German cities, the streets are full of trees that cover the sidewalks with their branches and create a pleasant coolness. And there are hundreds and hundreds of streets like this. A tree is an obligatory element of almost every German street from the main avenue to a quiet residential street. And from this point of view, sunny Italy is quite different. The nature and vegetation here are completely different and there are not so many forests. Accordingly, people are accustomed to other landscapes, which they reproduce on the streets of their cities. In the city centers, the narrowness of the streets and the shade from the buildings protect from the scorching sun, and in the newer districts, perhaps it's the locals' habit of heat. Of course, in Italy you can also find shady streets with trees, but they are mostly ceremonial, while dozens of ordinary streets look like this. The squares are often also solid stone without a single patch of greenery. The old ones and the new ones too. Another example is Switzerland, whose inhabitants have long been accustomed to living among mountains and rocks with their gloomy, majestic beauty. As a result, Swiss cities also look very restrained and sometimes harsh. The streets are dominated by the grey color of natural stone and concrete and vegetation, if any, appears very sparingly as if it really grows on rocks and the buildings around them often also resemble grey cliffs. So what do you think about it? Is there something in your cities that has its roots in the surrounding nature and ancient times and tell who we are? Is there anything similar in your cities now? My first thought was about using local natural materials in the decoration and plant characteristic of the local nature. But maybe this is too simple and banal and there is something deeper. What do you think? That's all for a moment. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave your comments. And also visit our Patreon page where you can support our channel. See you in the next videos.